Hello everyone and welcome to Revolution, your 31 day yoga journey. I'm so honored and excited that you're here. It's day one and the practice is focused on ease. So fear not if you're a little tired, a little heavy today, I got you, we're easing into it. But we're also setting ourselves up for a smooth ride by focusing on sukha or ease on the very first day as a way of making sure that we take care of our bodies and move with a kindness and a love that you deserve and that I deserve as well. So hop into something comfy and let's get started. All right, my friends, let's begin in a nice, comfortable seat, legs crossed, Sukhasana, or the easy pose. So Sukhasana, Sukha, is the Sanskrit word for ease, which is the focus of our first practice here on this journey together. So I'll invite you to sit up nice and tall, close your eyes, trust me, trust yourself, trust the video, and trust this experience by closing your eyes. So don't cheat yourself here. <laughs> Close your eyes. And take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, relax the shoulders down. And as we just take a moment here to settle in, tune in, allow the closing of the eyes to be an invitation to come into the role of the observer here. So you might actually think we're here to do 31 days of yoga. But I have a little secret for you. We're actually not here to do 31 days of yoga. Boring, that's so two years ago. 30, 31 days of yoga, boring. So we're really here, we're gonna use the tools of yoga of course, but we're really here to create and have an experience. So today's practice is just about getting soft and easy, setting the tone for a journey, a practice that feels good. So begin to deepen your breath, just nice and slow, gently with the inhale, and soft and easy with the exhale. And so the focus of today, sukha, ease, is kind of perfect because the mantra here on the channel and in this community is find what feels good. And the word sukha, although it can translate to ease and kind of uh, also translate to like being comfortable and soft and happy, the actual root words su and ka translate to good space. So here on our journey, we are exploring our bodies and our breath and trying to really go on a journey within that good space. The idea being that, yes, we're gonna get trim and tone and fit and amazing in our bodies, but that that's really just a container for what's on the inside. It's so attending to that good space inside, knowing that if we tend to the inner world, the good space within, we'll uh, be able to access that off the mat with more ease, with more sukha. All right, draw your hands to your heart. Anjali Mudra, prayer position. We'll take a deep breath in, sit up nice and tall. And exhale, bat the eyelashes open. So we're gonna start by bowing head to heart and bowing to one another here as we begin this journey. So take a deep breath in. And exhale, bow the chin to the chest. Now keep it here and I'll guide you with my voice. So we're gonna activate through the upper back body here, bowing head to heart. Nice, long, smooth, deep breaths. And so you take what you need on this journey. And the key word, I think, is allow. Allow for the story to unfold. We're not here to do yoga. Surprise. But we're here to have an experience. Can't wait to see what happens. Here we go. Inhale, lift the chin. Release the fingertips to the side. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Loop your shoulders. Open up through the chest. And then exhale out through the mouth. Two more like that. Big inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale out through the mouth. One more, maybe walk your pinkies back a little bit. Inhale. And exhale, empty it out. 
So soft, easy movement here as you plant the left palm and inhale, lift the right fingertips up and over. So notice right away if you're pretty rigid. See if you can find soft, easy movement. And then side body stretch here, finding movement that feels good. So today's practice is nice and low to the ground so you can settle in. I got your back. And then inhale all the way up to center and we'll take it to the other side. Create a smooth ride for yourself with the breath, with your awareness. And then inhale, come all the way back up to center. And this time, loop the shoulders, open the palms, take a deep breath in through the nose. And this time, out through the nose. Two more times, in through the nose. And out through the nose. Last time, palms are open, ready to receive. Beautiful, inhale, reach the fingertips all the way up, big, big stretch up towards the sky. And exhale, hands to heart. Nice. We're going to come to all fours, tabletop position. How you move from one thing to the next is everything. So again, consider the practice of sukha of ease today as you transition to tabletop. Take your time. All right, center yourself on the mat and set yourself up for greatness here. So lots of TLC as you plant the hands, spread the fingertips wide. Wrists underneath the shoulders, knees directly underneath the hip points. Notice if the toes are going in and out, and each time you come to this shape, really be meticulous with how you set yourself up. So we find the form, and then we liberate ourselves. We find a little freedom within the form. As you inhale, drop the belly, open the chest. And then as you exhale, moving with the breath, round through the spine, cat-cow. Inhale, open your heart, press into your foundation. And then soft, easy movement as you draw the chin to the chest. So don't create any added tension for yourself here. Move with the mindfulness and with an ease. All right, on your next inhale, come back to tabletop position. Bring the big toes together, send the knees as wide as your yoga mat, and then walk the hands out towards the front edge. Then inhale, look forward, smile, and exhale, send the hips back. Life is good. <sighs> inhale, big breath here, feel the skin of the back stretch. And exhale, allow the hips, the bum to grow heavy here, extended child's pose. Now I invite you to take really active arms here, feeling that length in the side body, sending lots of energy and awareness through every fingerprint. However, if you were up late last night or you're feeling a bit tired for whatever reason, maybe soften the arms and bring the palms face up. So that's what we're trying to establish today. Really becoming aware that we have the choice to show up on the mat and really stay present. Feel it out and tend to that good space. Take one more deep breath here. And exhale out through the mouth. Awesome, big inhale lifts you all the way back up to all fours. Walk the wrist underneath the shoulders, knees directly underneath the hips. Inhale, send the right leg out long, turn the right toes down, and then press in your foundation here, hug the lower ribs in. Inhale, send the left fingertips forward, spinal balance, and exhale, knee to nose, round everything in. Inhale to expand, spread the fingers, spread the toes. Exhale, knee to nose. Only three of these on each side, one more. Inhale to expand. Then exhale, knee to nose. Release back to tabletop. We do a cat cow in between. Inhale, drop the belly. Tap into that inner smile. It's amazing. It's helpful. And then exhale, chin to chest. Awesome. Inhale, back to table. Find your footing. Find your foundation. And when you're ready, send the left toes out long. Big inhale. Now take a moment here to turn the left toes down. Hug those lower ribs in. Find support. And then inhale, right fingertips reach out. Exhale. Knee to nose. Two more. Inhale, expand. Exhale. Try to soften and move with ease. 
And inhale, no added tension here. Exhale, knee to nose. Mm, beautiful. Back to tabletop. Inhale, drop the belly. Spinal flex here. And exhale, chin to chest. Fabulous. Inhale, come to tabletop. Curl the toes under. Maybe walk the hands out a little bit. And then when you're ready, keeping the knees bent, start to peel up from the tail. Downward facing dog. Take your dog for a little walk. Soft, easy movement today. So again, we're setting out to go on a little journey together. It's very personal, it's very individual, but also remember that you're doing it with tons of people all around the globe, connecting to the big picture here. So find a soft, easy pedaling of the feet. Root down through your index finger and thumbs. Take one more deep breath in here. And then exhale, slowly lower all the way back down, tabletop position. Bring the big toes together, knees as wide as the mat. Inhale, look forward, tap into that inner smile here. It's super helpful. And then exhale, send the hips on back. So try to stay active in this pose today. We often will come to this pose to rest, to cool down, to surrender, but see if you can keep it active. So nice active breath here. Send awareness all the way down to the soles of the feet, the hips. We start to open up gently through the shoulders. And if you have a little bit of a headache now today, or just if it feels right, you can rock the forehead gently side to side, just kind of massaging that third eye, kind of perfect for our day one. And then decide what feels good in the hands, active arms or soft, easy arms, maybe palms face up. And you have to bring the breath here. Bring the breath. Start to listen to the sound of your breath in a new way. All right, press into the tops of the feet and on your next big inhale, come all the way back up. Walk the knees underneath the hips. And this time we're gonna curl the toes under. Press away from your yoga mat, hovering tables. We inhale, tug the shoulders away from the ears, lengthen through the crown of the head. So be sure that the neck is a nice long extension of the spine here, not collapsed. Then inhale in and on an exhale, draw the navel up, lift the knees and let them hover for five. Breathe deep here, four, pressing into all your fingers, three, two, welcome that heat and one, slowly lower down. Awesome, from here we're gonna walk the hands out towards the front and then slide the right foot back, followed by the left, come into our one and only plank here today on day one. So draw the navel up, again, press away from your yoga mat, tug the shoulders away from the ears. You can also repeat the hovering table here if you wish. Here we go, five count, four, three, two, and one, see if as you release, you can consider the theme of today's practice to move with ease. Awesome. Swing the toes to one side, come to a seat right in the center of your mat. Awesome work. If you need to take the wrist for a couple of wrist circles here, please do. Legs are gonna come out long. When you arrive, sit up nice and tall. And then nice and slow, we're gonna draw the right knee all the way up, sole of the right foot comes to the ground. You're gonna give yourself about a fist width of space between your left inner thigh. And then for starters, just see if you can interlace the fingertips here, sit up nice and tall. So if you're really collapsed here, you might sit up on a blanket or something, sit up nice and tall, do your best, that's all we can do. And then you might just stay here and begin to turn to look past the right shoulder, or you might hook left elbow to right knee, swim the right fingertips around, inhale, find length, and exhale, twist. So everyone's gonna be a little bit different here. The main thing we wanna set up is that the head, the heart, and the pelvis are in alignment. So you don't wanna be leaning back into your twist here, but finding that support from within, and then keeping it soft and easy as you explore the twist. So no cranking, no pushing. So we kind of drop the struggle. Even if it means we don't go as far, there's an integrity. Beautiful, then we'll release, 
Right foot goes out, left knee comes all the way up and in. And then just for starters, find that length. Don't take this for granted, this support from within. So good for the energy of the body, the spine. And then you can stay here and just begin to turn past your left shoulder. Or if you like, hook the right arm around the left knee, swim the left fingertips around, and we journey into the twist. So inhale to lift and lengthen, and exhale to twist. And let your breath move you here, soft and easy. Beautiful, and then come all the way back. Send both legs out long, dig the heels into the ground, and the knees can be bent as generously as you need here. So find what feels good for sure by bending the knees a lot if you like. And inhale, reach for the sky, big beach ball up and overhead, and then exhale, draw energy up, up and over, Paschimottanasana, forward fold. Again, bend the knees as generously as you need. We're here for three breaths, finding nice, Smooth, deep breaths here. And then slowly tuck the chin into the chest and roll it up. Beautiful. We'll bring the hands to the earth and come to lie flat on our backs. When you get there, take a big full body stretch, pointing and flexing through the feet and reaching the fingertips all the way up and overhead. Mm. Inhale, lots of love in. Exhale, lots of love out. Beautiful, float the hands down. Soft, easy movement here as we play in bridge. So we'll bring the knees up and the soles of the feet come to the ground. So again, today's about kind of setting the tone that we're not going to be jerking ourselves around on the yoga mat or rushing or holding. We'll build strength for sure, <laughs> moving in that direction as the days grow long, but keep it soft and easy today. So walk the heels in in line with your fingertips, snuggle the shoulder blades underneath your heart space, and then see if you can keep it soft and easy as you lift the hips. So don't fling the hips up into the air, but stay in control as you press into the feet and inhale, start to explore the line of the spine as you lift the hips up. You can imagine a block in between the legs here so the knees aren't splaying out, but we're squeezing in the inner thighs there and then maybe open up through the palms as you lift. And then you journey down with your breath. And so take a moment here, maybe you even close the eyes to just feel this out, allow for whatever sensation this brings to come and then notice it. So again, we're not trying to do bridge, but just experience it. Let's do one more wherever you are. Maybe on this last one, you interlace the fingertips behind the tail. Keep breathing. Nice, full, deep breaths. And then use your exhale to release everything. And we'll walk the feet together and send the knees out wide, reclined cobbler's pose. Bring your left hand to rest gently on your heart and your right hand to rest gently on your belly. Then take a deep breath in and close your eyes as you exhale. Relax the weight of your shoulders. Allow the tops of the thighs to grow heavy. Really relish in this time, in this experience for you. Tell your loved ones, tell the people who are around you that you've committed to this 31 day practice. And each day you show up on your mat, see if you can find a softness a map in towards that sukha or the good space.
One more minute, just keep your eyes closed. Allow gravity to do the work here. Send nice conscious breath into your hands, your heart space and your belly. Two beautiful parts of the body that, for me anyway, resemble embodied listening, deep listening into my heart, into my guts, my belly, my intuition. Great, then slowly, softly, bring the fingertips to the outer edges of the legs. We'll close the knees and send one leg out and then the other. Interlace the fingertips, bring them behind the head. Elbows nice and wide, thumbs extend. You can give yourself a little massage here in the back of the neck. All right, and if you're wanting a more restorative practice today for whatever reason, then you're just gonna chill here, giving yourself a little massage in the back of the head, breathing deep. Otherwise, we're gonna slowly bring the heels together, keep the elbows pinned to the ground, start from the tail and slowly lift the knees all the way up to the chest. Keep the elbows pinned to the ground, then exhale, send them out long. See if you can let them hover. Inhale, slowly peeling up. Lower back flush with the mat and then exhale, release. Keep the lower back flush with the mat. Slowly peeling up, keep the elbows. It's a little bit of core, every day goes a long way. Great, we'll do one more, extending the legs out long. Squeezing knees to chest. Awesome. Slowly release the legs out long. Release the hands at your sides. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, release. Come into Shavasana. Soften through the toes, the feet, the ankles. Wiggle the fingers, the wrist. Soften. Tuck the chin slightly. And we'll take just a couple quiet moments here to again, tap into that inner smile. Listen to the sound of the breath. And meditate on this idea of sukha, moving with ease. The more we practice moving this way on the mat, the more we'll move in such a way off the mat. I'm really excited about the next 30 days. Today is just a little taste, easing into it. All right, take a deep breath in of gratitude for your body, for this opportunity to take this time for yourself and cultivate the good space, the sukha. Thank you so much for sharing your time and energy. I'm so excited for the next 30 days. Can't wait to see what happens. Let's draw the palms together and we close out the practice by taking a deep breath in and bowing to that good space within ourselves and within everyone. I'll see you tomorrow, day two. It's going to be awesome. Namaste.